Okay, in this next section, you're going to be asked to graph with quadratic functions. And quadratic functions can be represented in two different ways. This one is the one we've worked with most often, or similar to that. You're used to seeing this one written like this. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Well, I should say almost like this. We have been really using it like this form here. Moving the k over with the, I, with the y, so it would be y minus k equals a times x minus h squared. And when it's in this form, remember, you know the vertex. Remember what it is? hk. And do you remember how the a helps you? If it's positive, we have a curve like that. If it's negative, we have a curve like that. Holds water, doesn't hold water. Positive, negative. So you're going to be asked to graph functions. You're going to be given them first in this form. And you have to know to rearrange it. The steps for rearranging it are twofold. First, replace the f of x with a y and then move the k onto the same side with the i. So, if, if you want a list of what to do, replace f of x with y, and then move the k. Those are the two steps. Once you do that, graphing is easy. All right, let me do an example. Suppose you have this one f of x equals x squared minus 4. So what's the first thing you're going to do? Replace the f of x with y. So y equals x squared minus 4. Now the 4 is the k, so move it over. So y plus k equals x squared. Now I can do the vertex. What is the vertex of this? Well, um, we have a k, uh, in this case it's 4, and the h, there's nothing with the x, so it's 0. So it's 0, negative 4 is the vertex for that graph. Okay, let me do one more example for you. Suppose you have this one, f of x equals 2 times x plus 5 squared plus 3. Replace it. So y equals 2 times x plus 5 squared plus 3. Move the 3 over. y minus 3 equals 2 times x plus 5 squared. Now if I say to graph it, do you know the vertex? hk, so it's negative 5, 3. And then to graph it, you're going to have to pick some points, all right? And always pick points near your vertex. So if the vertex is over at negative 5, I would pick one on each side of it. So I'd pick a negative 4 and a negative 6. And plug that into the x and find the corresponding y value. And at that point, you would be able to plot enough points. You know you're going to have a parabola. Do you remember, is this parabola hold water or not hold water? I hope you know hold water, right? Because the A is positive. So, you're going to have some graphs of that first type. And in the homework, the first two sections of the homework tell you to do the example based on this type of equation. And then when you get to number 19 on the homework, they want you to use this other equation and to graph it. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, the interesting thing about this, if I wanted to graph it like the first type, I would have to do what's called complete the square. You've done that, and that takes a bit of work. So there's another pattern you can follow to find the vertex if you don't if, if it isn't in the complete the square form. And the vertex of this type is minus b over 2a, comma, that's the first point, and the next one is 
f of minus b over 2a. So how do I do that? Let's get an example and try one like that. Okay, so here's a function, and we're going to try and find the vertex so that we can graph it. But because it's of this form, first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it as negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 6. It's easier to recognize my a's and b's. a is negative 3, b is 6, c is 6. So remember, the vertex is minus b over 2a and f of minus b over 2a. So how do I find that? Well, minus b over 2a. Minus 6 over minus 6, positive 1. So the first point in my vertex is a positive 1. That was pretty easy. Now, how do I do, do the second part? I want to do f of what I got from minus b over 2a. In this case, it's 1. So f of 1 equals minus 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 6. 1 squared is 1 times 3 is minus 3 plus 6 is 3 plus another 6 is 9. So the vertex is 1, 9. Um, is this curve hold water or not hold water? Minus there, so the curve is going to look like this one. All right. Once you get the vertex, pick two other points near the vertex. So, one one way would be two, and then zero, and then find the appropriate ordered pair, plugging them in just like when I did the one. So you would find f of two and f of zero. Um, let's try one more. So, let's see. Let's get one that's quite a bit harder. Suppose you have something like this, f of x equals one half x squared plus three x minus seven fourths. Oh boy, I can't clear up fractions on this one, so I have to deal with them. So a is a half, b is three, and c is negative seven fourths. Again, minus b over two a, so minus three over two times one half, minus three over one, negative three. So the first point of my ordered pair for my vertex is minus three. Now I have to figure out f of minus three. So one half times minus three squared plus three times minus three minus seven fourths. Figure that out, we get nine halves plus, well, let's write minus nine. Minus nine minus seven fourths. And when you figure that out, you should get negative 25 fourths. Use your calculator if you have to. So here's the other part of the order here, negative 25 fourths. And that's the answer for the vertex. And then if you have to graph um, that you could pick two points, pick negative two and maybe negative four. I like to go not too far from both ends of the vertex um, and graph it. This has a positive A, so it holds water. Um, so I think you have enough information to get the homework done. Good luck.